For me personally, I've always loved the idea of logging. And for a while, as you can see from our channel, we managed to build it up to 1500, but I wasn't in it. I just couldn't, for whatever reason, the content coming up with ideas was just so difficult and it didn't feel, feel authentic, I guess is the word to use. So Amy and I were talking and you know, we have this, we have this YouTube channel called Family for Life. And we did a recent uh, Tony Robbins event, Unleash the Giant Within. And when we did that event, I think something clicked in us. Like, you know, especially on the breakout rooms, there's a lot of people hurting and a lot of people, you know, looking to grow and feel more connected to, you know, God or the creator, nature, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's all, for me, it's everything is, everything is one, we're all connected doesn't matter what religion you are three years ago we were doing you know fun little videos just for fun with the kids with the kids and they were much younger so they participated and they thought it was awesome but now they're older <laughs> and they don't want to do anything I'm here with Joelle okay, don't be weird don't be a weirdo <laughs> First day here. Second. Second. But really the first. No, second. Our first day here. Yeah, second. <laughs> and, you know, after the pandemic or during the pandemic, whatever, we're still in it, I don't know. It's 2022, by the way. <laughs> we live in Kelowna, BC. We didn't always. But with the pandemic came a whole new perspective on life. Maybe the expanded perceptive. And we decided, sorry to cut you off there. No. Just let you catch your breath. Yeah. We decided that we wanted to do something where we could share our experiences, the challenges that we've been facing and how to, and how, how we're, yeah, how we're coping, how we're kind of getting through them. So, really out of breath here. <laughs> yeah, we can't do this like our first vlog ever. No, like, this is yeah. pure natural, it's good. This is what you do. We took, uh, for any of you who remember Tony Robbins, a few months back we decided to take one of his four day programs. <laughs> yeah, we're dying of, we just climbed a huge thing of stairs by the way. We're at a beach walk with that. We'll show you later. But anyways, why are we vlogging now? We have a whole new perspective, okay? We moved out from Ontario to Kelowna, BC. We have so much joy in the family. The pandemic, although terrible in so many ways, has brought out so many new emotions and feelings and just... And, and, and we, you know, one of the biggest takeaways I think that we got was about growing, sharing and giving. Yes. And... Maybe whatever we have to share means nothing to some people, but maybe it makes a difference in somebody's life. And so that's where this vlog is going to be going. Who knows where it's going? We don't know. We don't have a clue. We it's just also said, going to have a seriously spiritual component to it because yeah. Jack and I both have studied, studied Kabbalah for a very long time and still do that and practice meditation and we try to work on like ourselves self growth we've always worked on ourselves like that and so this is definitely going to have that infused in our our whole vlogging experience but we just sort of want to take you with us because i think we could spread a lot of joy well today's the big day we're moving in I've always I've always wanted to vlog and I've attempted to vlog but every time you know whether it was the scenery or an excuse I haven't vlogged and, and that could be because of like bulky 
camera equipment, that's an excuse. Or it could be just because we weren't in the right setting. That could be an excuse too, but I think- It's hard to like develop content. Honestly, if you're like a content creator, which so many of you are now, I mean, you know, like that's, that's the most work. And we didn't want it to be work. We just want it to be natural and want it to flow from you know our hearts to yours. Just things we love in general. Because we're both like self-growth junkies. Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah, that's it. So if this can help even one person, it's great. And I think over the last two years, and not like anything seems like it's, I mean, let's hope it's getting better, but you know, we found a way to deal with every all the crap going on and it's it's been pretty good. No, 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 we haven't found a way to deal. We've found a way to thrive. Okay. Thrive through it. Just have the courage now. And we didn't before, who knows? But this camera definitely makes it easy. Yeah, it's so I small. The, camera. the truth is the camera makes it really easy. We have this DJI pocket too, it's like, you can bring it out anywhere. Nobody wants to lug anything out. It actually it's doesn't even look like you're talking to yourself. I know. It's honestly smaller than the size of a phone. So it's yeah. actually pretty cool. And the hell, maybe that's what the reason is. Either way, it found us at the right time. Like? <laughs> like? <laughs> organization? Or, yes, I forgot. Yeah, I'm recently obsessed with organizing. Obviously, thanks, Home Edit. Really appreciate that. Also, improving our health has been a big thing since we moved Absolutely. over here. We initially decided to move out here. It was because we wanted to take time to ourselves, like our family, and really work on ourselves. Like, take time to ourselves, you know? Go somewhere where we don't know anyone. Um, and, and therefore, like, work on ourselves. Improving our family life, improving our health life, improving every part of our lives. And that's what we've been doing successfully, and we want to share it. If we can just become more transparent and show people our true selves, maybe it'll make other people feel comfortable enough to do the same. To show that we're just all, you know, people who have kind of the same needs.